It is pretty important because, I mean, that tells me whether it's safe to go or not. Stuck waiting and wondering if it's safe to cross. One man with limited vision gets no help from passersby when the lights and the bells from the train are malfunctioning. On his way to the gym last week, Christopher Warner got stuck trying to leave the Anderson C train station when the bells and sirens that warn people of an oncoming train kept going for several minutes. Because those lights and bells had gone on for so long, at some point a train would have come. And I didn't want to pick that as the wrong time to go. Warner has limited vision that gets even worse at night. I saw people sort of darting back and forth across because I do have some partial vision. And I just kind of thought, thought, well, I'm going to stand here and wait a little, a little bit. And I probably waited three or four more minutes and nobody said a word. Nobody, nobody took notice of the guy with the white cane and asked if I needed any assistance or, or anything to help me cross. Because it was dark, Warner couldn't really see much down the train line. So instead of risking it, he took the long way around. All the way back to the other end of the platform, into the station and across the bridge that goes over the tracks. Uh, the other way. That takes me a little bit out of my way and then I sort of have to meander back through the station. Warner takes the train often and says people are generally quite courteous, but as a community educator for Calgary CNIB, he thought this incident was a great opportunity to raise awareness. The cane is for a reason. I think there's some people out there that don't actually understand what the white cane is for. And so just trying to raise awareness that, that you know, if somebody's holding a white cane and they're sort of standing in, in a place especially like that, that they may need some assistance and it's and it's okay to ask and please do in calgary tara overholt city news